Susie, the Training Ambassador with Mayflower. Today I'd like to introduce to you the trimmed twirls. And the twirls is a relatively long tail that you can put at the end of any of your larger shaped balloons. But um, I'd like to show you how you can hide the mechanics a little bit and make that twirls really shine. So for today's tutorial, what we're going to need are two pairs of heart shaped balloons. And these took six pumps each. Just tied them end to end. And then you're going to need two 260s, 260 cues, and we will want to tie them end to end. So how we do that is we just take the end of the, the balloon and put it onto that first nodule. I like to blow them up all the way because it gives them the balloon an idea that it's going to need a little bit of room to uh, wiggle with. So I'm going to bleed it out a little bit and then just tie it end to end. It just gives the balloon a little more flexibility when it's inflated fully first. And then I'm taking both of the tight ends together, pulling them far out. As I'm pulling them far out, the other end, I'm, I'm pinching it, and I'm going to bring them together, and I'm going to twist them together so that I have this kind of Cosmo-looking X. Now, into this, I'm going to incorporate our heart-shaped balloons. So, I will just put two on one side, and we'll go two on another. And now I'll just work them in so that they look balanced. find that you have this kind of a odd shape here. Well, you don't have to just settle for that. You can actually manipulate the shape of the balloon a little bit with a little bit of gentle coercion. So each one of these can be just taken out if you wanted to have a little more of a round, softer shape to it. And you can just bend it and ask it, would you like to have a different form? And it says, yes, of course I would. You're the master. And whenever we can remind ourselves that we're the master of something, I think that's important. Okay, so now we have this fun little ditty. And I'm going to reach over and get the uh, larger Mylar balloon. I chose a larger one that has more helium in it just because it's got uh, more, more height to it. So that when you're incorporating this and the twirls, the, uh, the amount of helium in here will be able to withstand the weight that we're adding onto it. So I'm going to take this unit and just slide it parallel with the inflation valve. One side in the middle, I'm going to take the ribbon, wrap it around, and just pull it up so it all becomes one piece. And this is cute enough in and of itself, but I think with the twirls you'll find that it really makes something that's ordinary into something extraordinary. Twirls come in small packages like this. You'll just want to release them from their plastic prison that they've been into. And at this point, kind of assess how, how long you want that tail. And I think halfway would be a good length for us today. So then you just want to find a pair of scissors and cut everything off evenly. Then we can just take and shape. And that gives us just this wonderful twirls. Now we'll just want to remove this adhesive backing and simply place it into the center of this latex unit that we have going on here. I'm going to put it in between these two balloons for safekeeping. And voila! Beautiful! Alright, I hope that this gives you a few more ideas on this Valentine's holiday. Thanks again for joining us today, and have yourself a wonderful, fun Valentine's Day with everyone.